us to have that conversation. Everybody has been looking, myself, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I've, I spoke to Amrado in just about two weeks ago, but already I'm so excited to have him again. I'm so excited about this conversation we're about to have because it's a big deal for me. I'm extremely proud of this young man. You know, from the days when he would bring us the weekly buzz. I remember when he said one day, I said, hey, Obeji Mejuma. He says, oh, the space is big. Mm -hmm. Now he's moved away from giving us the weekly news to going to mount big stages beyond Ghana. Now, after mounting the party in the park stage, now the man went on Team Westwood, got all of us talking. He released the video, everybody said, hey, he saw Ghana. And one beautiful thing about it for many of us in this space is that he was selfless. It wasn't about himself, it was about Ghana, his colleagues, who most wouldn't give him that attention if they had the opportunity anyway. But if we're ready to see Amrado's rap on Team Westwood before we get down to the conversation, here's what he blew our minds with when he had the opportunity. But this is the rap, rap Anyena Kasateha. I heard a lot of things that I want to take my time as usual to ask one after the other. The place that you got me so, so crazy was when you took off the shades. The fire in your eyes was on a different level. Bosu, why? Yeah, rap, rap, rap wizard. I go emotional. I can tell. Most of the times. Uh -huh. I, know, I know Ghanaians do appreciate me, but most of the times, at first I used to rap using metaphors and wordplays until I realized that as an artist or as a rapper in quote, you would have to go down to other people like, which is uh, content, humor, and creativity. So aside doing yet in seven, people felt like, oh, he doesn't deserve the best rapper and he's not there yet. I felt like that's very painful on my behalf because uh, whatever a young rapper could do to be heard is what I did. And mm. the pain within me is what I've now channeled into my rap stories. So at that moment, I got emotional, and then I said, no, let me just spit my heart out. And you did. You said a lot of the people, they are living on hype. Yeah, which is They so are whack. Yeah. Which are these people? Yeah, they know themselves. They know I, themselves. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not in that position to sit here and say that so-so-and-so is the hype, but uh, we call something rapper's ego. When I'm in the studio, I'll just throw the shots. So why is that when you say you don't mention the person's name, then we can go for the person? Uh, we can now go in. You know those people who can you know, analyze Music is rap. literature, so mm. after listening, you have to go and Google it. But wait, oh, <laughs> you didn't mention anybody's name, but they say you use somebody's slang or a slogan. So that's why Obibini responded to you yesterday. Did he? Yes, he did. That? Also, Mundroye. Why? I don't get it. Well, you said he said something there oh. in the Tim Westwood. This is a slang he uses. You know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not good with the tree language. I heard it. But it's a slang he also uses. And, and so he says that, who drew it? And he's, you're not on the same level with him. No, we've been in bed, though, yes. I think he's a rapper. No, we've been in bed, though, yes. He's a rapper. Oh. He should just support a young guy trying to elevate Ghana. Why is he not talking? Why are they not talking about the fact that I was so selfless and I mentioned almost everybody's name? trying to project our Ghanaian music to the world. But I don't know. Did I even go straight at somebody? Is Did there, you use any slang that he's known for? Unless you tell me the exact line oh. that they think. AJ, please help me pull that thing from YouTube. And there's a slang that he also repeated. Mm -hmm. I hear it's something that he uses mostly in his song. I got the word yesterday, but my tongue is not too good with trees. So, I say, but. Mm. And then he said... I want to listen. You, so, but you didn't, you didn't make any... You didn't take a swipe I, out of me. Writing my lyrics, why would I take a swipe at Obibini? In that Tim Westwood video, you never said anything that's a jargon that Obibini used. You, you never mentioned any jargon that he uses. Can I please listen to that part? Okay, so I'm going to pull that part and send it to AJ. Uh, it was on the internet yesterday. I saw it and I, I, I heard it. If anybody's watching, just drop that thing to me now uh, whilst I look for it. But also, did you see any response from Obibini? No, yes, I've not seen anything. You've not seen anything no. that he says Mundru. Has he said anything? Has yes, he, he says Mundru. Can I listen? Okay, Even so AJ, please pull it up for me. Eh? I'm going to pull it also up from YouTube, um, Instagram, where I saw it and play. So you didn't take a swipe at anybody? No, no, no. no you no. didn't? I wouldn't do that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I don't know. I saw a response from him. I saw it on, on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it also. But let's talk about you bigging up a lot of the your fellow uh, musicians. So you talked about Kidi, you talked about Kwame Eugene, uh, Kim Promise, Dako Vibes and all of that. You had an opportunity to shine. Why did you decide to bring people in, to take, to take a bit of your shine? 
and that is a fight there'll be a, a better approach i always use the indirect approach and shouts to my team for always advising me on that miss g you know most of the times as an artist or as a rapper if you get that big platform you always want to sell yourself and your craft but somebody like me i always think over but i always think that oh uh, if I have this opportunity and I sell my brothers, that is even going to make me win the love of the people. So I always use a selfless approach. Right from people hearing me to be Amrado and even on Yet and Sem, I used to feature all my friends on it so that they could also be heard. So uh, as a rapper, I always want to use that selfless approach. And it's something that, that is not going to end here yet. So I use that approach simply because I want to make sure that Ghanaians love me extra more and then they will know that I don't have any beef with anybody, but until it's called for. Until the beef is called for. <laughs> uh, did, did, did you get them also reacting, you know, to show appreciation after you had mentioned the names? Yeah, did anybody... family has sent me a message on WhatsApp appreciating me. Uh, I've seen a couple of people. Mr. Drew, even though I didn't mention his name, I was there with him and then he said, bro, that was fire. So I'm yet to hear from Eugene and Katie, but that is fine. I Can believe promise? In, not yet. That co vibes. Not yet. Do you think they appreciate it? Yeah, I know, definitely. Uh, somebody coming out to show you love doesn't doesn't necessarily mean that they are the ones that love you. Maybe they could be at their homes and be planning to even give me a chorus. You get it? So uh, I love them. Whether they come out to say thank you, I know that when they listen, they'll feel good. So that's the love. I don't expect it in return. You don't expect anything in, in return. return. That's yeah. what he's saying. So I mean, I'm still trying to pull up this thing that I saw. Okay. So when I get it, I'll definitely, before we go, we'll play it. If we don't yes. play it here, I'll play it off a get. Aha. Uh -huh. So AJ, I'm sending it to you now. I don't know. So my microphone is. So, so shot fired. It's on GH Quick. I'm forwarding it to you now. So, um,. I'm forwarding this video whilst I keep asking you questions. He dared me to look for it, and I was, I was, I, 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 yeah, I'd seen it, I was so eager to find it. So it's on GHQ. I'll forward it to you, AJ, whilst I ask him another question. So, also, I see a lot of people all of a sudden big you up after Team Westwood, and you told me the emotions with which you were rapping there. Were you surprised that people took too long to see what you have? Are you disappointed that he had to take you on this platform for people to now finally say, We get it? We appreciate you. Yeah, yesterday I was sending my We Outside videos to TV stations. And uh, when we were almost home, I was in a car and I was crying. Oh. Uh, yeah, because I felt like what, what if Ghanaians appreciated me more before Tim Westwood? And, and what also came into my mind was that, is it that Ghanaians didn't really respect or appreciate me before Tim Westwood? Or why are they even more surprised? Because I believe in myself that most of the times, if I have the opportunity, I would deliver. All I want is the opportunity. And I'm never going to disappoint Ghanaians. I did it on UTV, I did it on Tim Westwood, and I am ever ready to learn and work on my craft to always put Ghana first and mm. forward. Yeah. What do you think denied you the opportunities? Like you say, you say all you wanted was for Ghanaians to give you the opportunity. What do you think was denying you the opportunity? Why did you think maybe, Ghanaians didn't? Maybe, maybe there, are, there are too many dope rappers in a building whom they give the chance and they disappoint. But I feel like it's a process. And I wouldn't even say it's a denial. It was about time. And then uh, I thank God that it's here now. But I believe that now that Ghanaians are showing me the love, it's going to be something that's going to be consistent. It's going to be usual. It's not going to be that uh, Amradu just came back from Tim Westwood. He's all over the place and then that's it. So uh, I'm just going to make sure that I work on my craft and push forward as they want. Okay, so whilst uh, he gets it, this is the caption that comes with it. He says, um, I'm here for Amradu. And the, you were tagged. I'm surprised that you didn't see it. So this is on GH Kweku on Instagram. And you were tagged. It says, shot fired. It says, I'm, I am here for Amradu Bernard throwing shots at Obibini during the freestyle on Tim Westwood TV. Amradu Diasembeba. Peace is overrated in Ghana. This one, this one will end here. And so he has picked the place where you actually claim, they claim that it's a slang that Obibini uses. I want to know uses. the exact line. Okay, so AJ, are you getting it for us? Okay, so once you're getting I want everybody to see it. So I won't play it. So I've seen it on my phone. And that's that's another conversation. Because I'm, I'm looking at how, like he says, peace is overrated. It looks like another beef is about starting. You know, one thing about rappers is that no matter no matter the situation any day anytime we love beef because it's healthy <laughs> uh, that is when we generate our numbers so uh, it's good for the game collaborate or competition several dishes and i'm ready to go eat it 
And so is that to say that you intentionally called for this beef? You see, one thing you're not getting right, Miss J, is that uh -huh. I didn't mention it would be his name. I don't know even why the conversation is all about him. I just want to see the video. You want to see the video. Then I comment. That, then you, and yes, you I comment. I didn't mention his okay, name. Okay, so until the video is ready, let's move away from talking okay. about him and talk about some other things that have happened okay. in that rap that you yourself said. So you said that you are not overrated. Some of these rappers are overrated. And our best rapper has what? No, say it's like you, you know, I, I get really surprised when you guys rap something and we are asking you line for line, and it's like you can't repeat it, and it's like you're shy now. Well, you saw our best rapper has done what? I'm not a shy you, type. You saw our best rapper has done what? See, I bet I'm best rapper, I mean, some I mean, this video. I say, cry, you're a gorilla. Intimate poetry, you're whining. Maybe someone will be a ding. Because the just recent best rapper is Enu. We've had so many best rappers in the country. So, which one are you talking about? Or which ones are you talking about? Yeah, maybe all of them. All the all the people who have won best rapper <laughs> from Sack to MDK to Kwesi Atha, Eno Baroni, and all the ones who are. If forgotten. you know, if you know, you won the best rapper and you, you didn't deserve it, then it's all you. of them said they deserved it. Yeah, then it's not them. So who are we talking about? The one that is, didn't deserve. Who do you think didn't deserve it? Uh, I'm already deserved it. Because for you to have <laughs> oh, I'm, I, how many times have you been nominated? Uh, for once, best, once. so just this one now, one final. You deserve it. Yeah, it's not best. just so I worked hard. So now, you are, now he's coming out. <laughs> Speak the truth. I love this. I love this part that we are taking. Okay, so okay, I said on Hits FM that mm -hmm. had it not been a no, mm -hmm. and then they have they should have given it to anybody else, or they, they had given it to anybody else, I would have dropped that this song. But I respect the news craft. So Come then, on. why did you go and say, say, already oh, best rapper now? Nice rapper, see, go and rapper now, be on an hotel. So you still believe that you you did a better job under the year on uh, exactly 100 than Eno did. Oh, come on, come on. No, I'm asking 2020 under the year under review. I went past anybody who was nominated, it's not even a brag. Mm. I did it, Miss G. You know, at what point, at what point will you let go when I win it next year? You guys forgive it to me, and yes, I did. And yes, I did. Then never, yes, I drop it this. <laughs> I was in Westwood. <laughs> oh, I was in Westwood. I could drop you another one. I? But tell me, like you say, a rapper's ego. What do, does all these things, what do they mean to a rapper? You know, the the plaque, the, you know, commentary, the laugh from the fans, the beef and all that. What, what, what does it mean to a rapper? What, how much of um, that, you know, builds the ego or how much does it take away from the ego? Okay, thank you very much. Let me use Lionel Messi as an example. Upon all the goals that he scored for Barcelona, the last picture they took him when he was leaving was his trophies. It's a symbol of your CV. If somebody want to trade with you, work with you, that is it. They will say, oh, you're a rapper. Okay, fine. What shows you're a rapper? What, what have you done? Then I'll present to you what I've achieved in my CV. That's it. Mm. Yes. And, and opportunities, so, you know. Uh, traveling, you would have the bragging rights. Mm. Yeah. And so, so you think that until now, you don't have a CV to show? Oh, I have a CV to show, but it can always be better. You mm. get to the yes. Mm. So the numbers are there, numbers don't lie, mm -hmm. but aside numbers, you need trophies, yes, to be decorated. Now, to the much awaited video, the one that is about to generate a beef that Amrado is waiting for and ready for. Let's see that uh, put together by GH Kwiku. Akwaba could say your friend Udini, and Obibini says they don't call him Udini for nothing, guys. I don't look for trouble, they gave me trouble, they give me trouble all the time. So, that is it. Seen what it. about these two things? Okay, uh, speaking for myself, mm. do you think I will be on a world platform and be, excuse me, uh, throwing shots at somebody I have been working extra harder than? What will I give? You've been working extra harder than? Yeah, I respect to Bibini, he's a big brother, but mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't use that platform to diss him or something. Wouldn't he? Last time I was, I was listening to Sarkozy on his FM and he said, most of the times, when he's writing and your name pops up and it fits the rhyme and it makes sense, he's not going to take it out. That is the rapper's ego. It has to fit in so that... The lyrics will be so you know that this exactly. is a qua no see a friend Udini. Udini is a key word, but you said a if I wanted to, if Udini. I wanted to jab Udini, I would use Udini, but I'm not scared. Udini is a tag, I know, uh -huh. I know he's a tag, uh -huh. but this is the rapper, rapper's ego. And I, I believe that if he doesn't like what I said, he should go to the studio and diss me. I'm ready, but is it fair that Otini baby Jane? No, no, no rapper, the only so John, David, 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 David. Rapper, no, no, ready for, for battle. It's for the culture. It's for the culture. Rapper, yeah, so, but he says Undru ye. And it's on the boy Yadi. And on the Yadi. Hey. I said not a critical at this point. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, but said, why would you be sitting there and saying I'm Radun Ruye? And he says Undru ye. Why has he achieved more than me? He shouldn't get me pissed. Hey, but you went to look for the man's trouble. Oh no. Nah. 
He said, you, say, you, guys are, you guys are looking for our trouble, and I'm up for it. But am I the one who posted the video? Me, even the Woudini, I Kogu forgot. Is calling for the fight. I forgot how yeah. to say Woudini. Woudini is what? A wicked yeah, person. Woudini is Obi and the team wedding. So okay. I'm saying it's Obi. So I could see a friend of Woudini. What's yeah, the me next Me hearing line? this one right now, I'm pissed off because Mindru is a saying. Now, what's Mindru? No, we be ni better than we are. You keep saying that, but you don't add anything to you, so that I don't understand. Say beba lyrics in you, no, we ain't cast. It has started. My producer said it don't start. So please, let's get ready to rumble. I waited for the lyrical bit, but beyond that, I say you've done extremely well. Thank you. And now let's move away from this and talk about we outside. Another reason we are here this morning with Amrado is that the song that he put together with Kofi Jama whilst others were busy on life is out. Let's see it. Mm. Uh, when we were going, as I said on showbiz, the uh, show. Yeah, simply showbiz. Simply showbiz. Mm. Uh, when we were going, I picked up my studio setup and then I got there, uh, recorded the song with Kofi Jama and we decided to shoot the video, which was even why he missed on Tim Westwood. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Tim tweeted him yesterday that he's going to be on whenever he Oh, comes really? Yeah, so, so Kofi Jama is going to be on when he goes on. back. Yes. Okay, right, great. Uh, so that was how come we did it. We outside and then the boys are taught in them. Uh, Sero, uh, Slim Pan and all the other guys have made and on scene. They took charge of the video and shouts to the video director, Zizi, the director, Antonino, he also worked out magic for us. Hmm. Beautiful video. I must say congratulations to you and thanks for seizing the opportunity you know to do this and make us really proud this is a beautiful tune but since you've gone back to talking about him westwood somebody sent a message he says that me i asked him off air but now somebody sent a message he says that you took the shine off the other people who were he says amado make the other boys look like picking for the place he take them a shine or that's not true but, well, to some extent, it's true because we are not hearing about Mizzy, that. Thing, you have been training for Mizzy, Mizzy, over 24 hours Mizzy, now. Mizzy, it's not about the trends. It's about how long Yao Tog and Kweku Flake has been in the game. I have been doing freestyles back here on, on platforms and this was their first time maybe doing aggressive flows and I appreciate them. What they did was perfect. Maybe in the next two, three years when Yao Tog goes, when Flake goes, they will do something that Amrado did as well because you have to pass through the process. We should pardon them. We shouldn't even compare them to me. You get it because I am a typical rap, rap battle attacking rapper and then we should pardon them. Forget about the trends. Ghanaians like that but I love my brothers. Um, but you don't like the Udini, so we are waiting for what will happen with the Udini. But thank you so much for coming thank through. For I've coming. enjoyed the conversation. I was looking forward to this. And uh, we hope that 2022, best rapper, you know. I see a lot of people. I see Arnold. I see a lot of people, Dr. Pound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me use all the, of them, Mizzy, you know, uh, before rallying I go, let me, behind Let me use this platform to thank them, especially Kwame Dazi and Arnold. Uh, Arnold was somebody who was really rooting for you last year and yeah. I pray that Kink, uh, I've done it so just I need your support. Push behind your boy, I'm not going to disappoint you. Shouts to Kwame Dazi, he made a nice article about me uh, and then uh, all, all, all other media people who has... So you now understand that sometimes uh, if the thing is working, they will say it's working. No, but sometimes, it's, it's not that sometimes they, they don't too, like Sometimes it. too it's working but it's just about time. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. I, I hope that this time around we get the best results. So that's sure. all the things that we've said about the period. Yeah. Shouts to my again. godfather, Sammy Flex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shouts to everybody who has been helping, you know, Amrado, push the agenda yeah. for yeah. Amrado. Congratulations to you Thank once you so again. Much. And we wish you all the best. See, I will see the ENT in Samno, he won't do it again. He's proven himself. Yeah, I'll do it again, but. It's, it's on it's on hold, it's on hold for now yeah. uh, you want for to reason. you want to you want to enter the boots for bar to bar <laughs> and bar for bar but thank you so much for coming thank through for i enjoyed the conversation uh that'll be it for today's edition of tv3 new day uh we are back tomorrow with the midweek edition but before i go uh bed, happy birthday to uh maris amu uh from seth john uh that's to you maris uh also uh from all the wives of the armed forces central band to the amagajia Mrs. Ohiba Faustina, they wish you a happy, happy birthday. Also, I have one here that I need to quickly do. A happy birthday to Farm Patrick Isa Frimpong. May God grant you unlimited favor from Kakra Danso, K Danso, and your children, Janelle and Jason Frimpong. All right, so thank you so much.